All right, you guys, today we check out how to warp some blended lines, starting from thin to thick lines. However, After Effects doesn't have the settings, so we're gonna go in Illustrator to blend it. Let's go ahead and select the rectangle, and I gotta make a line made out of this rectangle, make it really thin, press and hold Alt and drag it into the opposite direction. Also press and hold Shift to isolate, press and hold Alt and make it more wide. Let's select both of these lines, go to Object, Blend, and click on Make. From here, let's go and double click on the blend tool and select specify steps and decrease the numbers until you're going to see enough space in between every lines. I think this is good. Click OK. Let's go to the object, expand, click OK. And now let's go and save it. Save S. And here, all you need to do is save it as an AI file. Now we're going to go to After Effects, click on New Composition. I'm going to go with 1080p, black background and click OK. And from here, let's drag and drop the AI file right here with the lines. Click OK. Right click on the AI file, go to Create and select Create Shape from Vector Layer. So this way is going to create a new layer of the AI in form of Shape Layer. And let's select the original one and press on Delete. Let's select the Shape Layer. I'm going to recolor it as white. Click OK. I'm going to deselect, select again and just stretch it out. From here, let's go to the effects and presets, type in warp and drag and drop the mesh warp on the shape layer. We're going to decrease the column and the row to three by three. And we're going to activate the stopwatch at the distortion mesh. Bring it to the first second. And as you can see, these crossing points, all you need to do is select one of the crossings and just drag it in one of the opposite directions. And I got to do the same thing with the second one. Just bring it down here. You also can bring it out if you want. I'm gonna stretch it all the way out. And if you bring it back, you can see it animates. You can select the shape layer, press the letter U. So this way it's gonna highlight the keyframe. Select both keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assist, select easy ease. So it's gonna make the animation more smoother. As you can see, because of the warp, the composition frame is going to bend all over the place, which I don't like. So what I gotta do is select the rectangle and I just gonna draw a rectangle on the whole composition and just make sure that this rectangle is gonna be inside of these bending areas. I also gonna recolor so you can see. And now we're gonna go to the track mat and just connect it to the shape layer. As you can see, it's gonna cut nicely the frame. Now, if you don't have this track mat option, all you need to do is go to toggle switch and it's going to appear and disappear. If you want to make this warp more fancier, I'm gonna select the layer with the lines. Let's go and type into the effects and presets liquify and drag and drop the liquify under the mesh warp. And here you can select one of the liquefaction options. I'm gonna select the first one. And here you got the warp tool options, increase or decrease the brush however you like. Right now it's pretty small. You can increase it. And here you can increase or decrease the pressure. I'm gonna decrease it a little bit more. And for example, I want to emphasize this area. So I'm gonna go here and activate the distortion mesh stopwatch and bring it to the third second for the animation. And all you need to do is just liquefy it even better. And this is how the final animation looks like. Thanks for watching.